One thing we love doing in fitness is complicating things more than it has to be. And using pyramids in your training is one of the more commonly accepted complexities. So in this video, we're going to talk about what pyramid sets exactly are, why they're so popular, and yet why they're actually not worth your time. For those completely new to the concept, pyramids are a resistance training strategy implementing varying set modifications. Traditionally, when we train, we usually pick a specific load or weight and a specific rep or rep range and stick to them for all of our sets. Something like performing 8 to 12 reps at about 75% of our 1 rep max for 3 to 4 sets straight. That's the traditional way. With pyramids, however, things, let's say, gets a bit more exciting and exquisite, at least however exquisite lifting weights can be. Instead of doing the same old reps and weights for all sets, one or both of them will change in each subsequent set. So now for set one, we're going to do that 8 to 12 rep at 75% one rep max. But for set two, we're going to do 6 to 10 reps, but at a heavier 80% one RM. Set three, we're doing 5 to 8 reps at 85% one RM. And then set four, you know the drill, we're hitting 4 to 6 reps at 90% 1RM. In this case, the weights get heavier and the number of reps get lower. This is the basic template for pyramid sets, at least one type of pyramid. This pyramid in particular is known as an ascending or crescent pyramid. There's also the opposite, descending or decrescent pyramid, where the weights get lighter but the number of reps get higher or stays the same. And then we have extra exciting pyramids where we kind of combine or mix crescent and decrescent pyramids together to get things like reverse pyramids, diagonal pyramids, crooked pyramids, looks more like a circle pyramids, and all kinds of pyramids. The whole idea of pyramids essentially is to mix things up for each set, usually in a rising and or falling fashion. Sounds interesting, I bet, but why exactly are pyramids so popular among our fitness bros and broettes? Well, I can only guess as to exactly why, but one main argument is that pyramids can help you increase your training volume. As we know, training volume is a huge factor in muscle hypertrophy, so if pyramids can increase volume, then great! But not so great because it doesn't actually do that, at least not easily. Let's just take a quick and easy example of doing three straight sets of lifting 100 pounds for 12 reps, which is a volume score of 3600. Using a typical crescent pyramid of lifting 100, 110, and 120 pounds for 12, 10, and 6 reps, if my googling math skills are correct, that's a total volume of 3020. Even if you added an extra rep for each set, Google says you're still doing slightly less volume. Volume. We can even change the numbers a bit, maybe lifting 90, 100, and 110 pounds for 15, 12, and 10 reps instead, which does put our volume just slightly higher at 3,650, and also maximizing my math quota for the year. So I guess it is possible to increase volume with pyramids, but it does have to be a very specific strategy and you actually hitting those numbers. Plus, I can just add one single rep to the traditional method to put it over again. So the idea the idea of having to crunch a bunch of numbers that essentially provide no added benefit is not exactly the most fun approach. But in my opinion, where I personally think pyramids shine the most is in a subjective sense of feeling like you're doing more or giving more effort. Like I said, we love to complicate things in fitness and what's not to like about complicating your intensities. And I actually mean that. With varying intensities, each set feels unique and requires its own unique mindset going into them, especially once you get to the very heavy sets. And this can make your lifting experience feel more fun, exciting, and challenging, which should obviously mean more gains, as long as you don't check the actual science, because according to the science, pyramids are just a silly waste of your damn time. Well, the science says it in a slightly more linguistically professional way, something more along the lines of, Pyramid sets are not statistically significantly superior to traditional set training in all observable physiological outcomes related to muscle strength and performance, so stop being a dumbass. Unfortunately, the science is clear that pyramids of virtually all types are not better for the one thing that actually matters, and that is your gains. But mm, it's not all bad. With pyramids, you are training with high, medium, and low intensities, 
which can theoretically concurrently improve muscle endurance, growth, and strength. In other words, training different intensities can possibly lead to improving different muscle adaptations at the same time. This can be good for certain activities like wrestling that can benefit from them all. However, there's no direct research showing that pyramids actually improve these parameters better than training for each separately. Overall, the lack of superior gains and other factors we see in the science, like potentially reducing training performance, which in fairness does also need more research, it does seem like pyramids aren't as snazzy as we thought they were. But let's ask anyway, Mr. Picture Fat, just shoot it to me straight, are pyramid sets ever worth doing? Well, seems like the answer is clearly no for gains itself, but pyramids aren't entirely useless and I'll leave you with one, no two, positive things about them. First, which I briefly mentioned before, using pyramids can let you train in different intensities and rep ranges. Practicing how to lift different intensities is a huge thing in fitness, especially once you become more advanced and learn about things like periodization or if you have specific intensity goals in mind. So pyramids can be a bit of a stepping stone for this. And second, people, including myself, love using pyramid sets as warm-ups. Now, I'm not too sure where the science stands on this, but it does make a lot of physiological and neuromuscular sense to slowly build your intensity up to your work sets and top sets, which is exactly what pyramids can do. So that's two decent positives for pyramids. But again, overall, pyramids mostly are not great, and not only because they provide no extra gains, but because you have to do extra work, especially math, ugh, for that no extra gains. In other words, just like the OG pyramid schemes, instead of buying into something your friend is trying to sell you on, even though they clearly haven't found any success with it themselves, you're better off with sticking with what already works. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a traditional thumbs up and share it with your MLM loving friends. Subscribe for more and let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to get your protein.